Good morning, Red Group. This is your phonics lesson for today. We're going to start by doing our revisit. What you need to do, you need to read the words in black below, and then you need to look at the pictures, and can you match the picture to the word? You may want to pause the video now so that you have enough time to do it. Let's carry on with our revisit. Can you revisit and read these words that we already know? Map, jam, visit, buzz, queen. Now we are going to learn to read some tricky words. No, I, go, to, the. Can you read this sentence with me? The car zoomed past. Can you have a go? Our new sound for today is air, air. Can you say it as well? Air. If you'd like to watch a video with this sound in, if you type in YouTube on the internet and then in the search bar on YouTube, if you type in phonics air sound you'll be able to see some videos and watch some videos there so i'm going to say air can you say air now practice writing the sound air making sure you're spelling it correctly let's read some words together H air hair P air pear ch air Chair, f, air, fair, s, t, air, stairs. Now it's your turn. Can you read, practice reading these words as quick as you can? Stairs, pair, hair, chair, fair. So my turn. So this is a picture of a chair. Here's my phone in frame. Ch air. So I can hear two sounds there. So I've got here ch and air. Chair. Can you have a go? Picture of somebody's hair. I've got two sounds. My phone in frame. Hair. H air. Hair. Can you have a go at writing, Matt? Now let's practice and apply. So I will read the sentence. Can you spot the air sound? There was a hairy bear on my chair. There was a hairy bear on my chair. So I can spot the air sound here. Can you spot it anywhere else? Let's read the second sentence. It was not fair. I asked him to go upstairs. It was not fair. I asked him to go upstairs. Can you spot the words with the air sound in? Now let's see if you can write a sentence. I went to the fun fair. I went to the fun fair. Can you write that sentence? I went to the fun fair. 